AR. 3-1. That's what you want. I see, I see you, traitor. It's not what I want. It's not what I want. What I want doesn't matter. It's what I think is gonna happen. On there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Fuck, did, did you meet all my friend? Put the cork in it. That's enough. <laughs> No, oh, he hasn't heard. muted all. Oh, maybe he got nice... told to. Maybe he got told what he said. Uh oh. Uh oh. Beyond. Beyond. Uh oh, this five hero is nice stun pond, though. Is this still looking scary? What's going on? Torrent's gonna connect on the Sven. Double no. blood grenade. Wow. Oh, no. What? What is the fuck died? No way. And now Beyond's gonna die too. What is going on? I, I actually can't believe he got that kill. He gets it. I I thought they were in a lot of problems after the impale, but yeah. Nicely done. He's way too tanky early on. Their, their heroes are tankier, right? Like you have this Twin and Tide Hunter with 900 HP running in, Sven with 750. Like, good luck being a weaver with 600 running around there. First blood, another kill. This is so worth it for uh, Radiant. Azure, they get the bracer, free bracer for Sven to go into the lane. He gets a stick as well. This isn't this isn't an easy lane for him, so it, it feels so good to have an advantage early on. On who, sorry? Oh, on Sven. On Sven. What are your oh, this... what are the main concerns for Sven in this lane? It's just a lot of spam, a lot of damage going your way. Like Tide Hunter, uh, sorry, yeah, Tide Bringer, my bad. <laughs> Tide Bringer, and then on top of that, Mirana hitting you. If the Mirana doesn't die here, let's Homo? see. Yeah. Dude, what? 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 What's going? What That's is how the star? allies hit you. That's how the allies hit you. They 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 feed kills to the enemy team. Almost gonna get the Kari snipe too. I Pomlo's kind of cooking. He might also die. He's also dead. <laughs> it's a free the... reset. It's a free reset. He blocked the body blocked the small camp before he died, so he got that as well. Yeah, like this is probably the most perfect lane they could have wished for. On, uh... well, not the most perfect, but pretty good starts for uh, Radiant. Yeah, I don't know, Tiami, you're not really winning this right-click battle versus Ponlo, and something that we are going to see from them is the Earth Spike into Torrent, which will be a bit of advantage that Team Zero are going to have to at least out-spam the Verona, who usually is quite good at trading. Yep, usually she is. Arrow. All right, DZQ goes down. Yeah, Weaver can't really help you here too much, especially on level two. With with levels, he becomes a bit scarier. Like, but level one, Squishy, you go in if you're caught. The, the cooldown is too long. There is just enough time for them to kill you. So, better be careful with the clockwork. Denied. Interesting lane so far. A lot of. Uh, a lot of harassment. I, I like what they're doing on bottom lane, by the way, with, with uh, spamming of Stormhammer and Arrow. Like, they're not saving resources, they're just spamming out beyond. Just returning that uh, resources battle, basically. You, they're not letting him just spam Tidebringer on them. Look at this. It, it's blue, one, they used one set of spells and he's on 50% HP. Yeah. Yeah, so Radiant doing it and Dire doing the exact same thing. See, Dai have a big advantage as well. Okay, top lane, where do we go? To FY? He's actually going to get blocked inside the cogs. Easy Q able to close the distance. Um, all right, we're starting game four off with all the kills. Seven kills in. Who gets the Lotus clock on one side, Sven on the other? Yeah, a ton of kills happening. Level two arrow, by the way, on Mirana. So they really want to... Make this thing happen, like Stormhammer into the arrow in the lane. I do... Mm -hmm. 
I was gonna say I do like the adaptation from the earlier series with the coddle where they they already blocked so they've already have a sentry down at mm -hmm. the um at the hard cam which we saw in the previous series with the cold twice the they weren't able to do that and unblock the camp early beyond not clean. Yeah. and this got... torrent still on ming okay not gonna matter yeah he had a um, lotus the healing lotus on swim so he wouldn't probably die there if they went on him it was him making the aggressive move it's kind of funky that Murana is blocking this hard cap. It's not that bad for her. Like, you can still farm it with the arrow, but just making sure that all the resources are there to make the Sven's lane as easy as possible. And we are again going on him. Should be fine. Arrow missed this time. Radiant structures are fortified. You can see the if... potential of this bottom lane, right? Like, if, if Kunka had a, an even lane from the get-go, he'd be dominating, but... Goodness. <laughs> Just Mirana tide, getting Tidebringer is so funny as well. It doesn't seem like it's going to get any easier as well. So, I mean, I, I guess, you know, this one does have, of course, the capability to be able to go back and play in the jungle. That's a nice stun combo under the tower, though, beyond. Down to a quarter, and this could give them an opportunity now to hunt him in the trees. Maybe they want to turn to Ponlo Stanky. next. He's got a wand. Like, they're not killing him. 13 wand charges. Level 3. Got the blood grenade. Mirana. Like, oh, nice. Nice stun. Is it going to matter? It's not. Okay. No. Imo Ori is also making his first rotation. Only level 5 at the moment for the Leshrac. It's like one experience point for level six. Oh, that was a nice cog. Right there, ZZQ. Just manages to get away. Can he? It's like, you don't want to wait here. With a wisdom rune, a minute and a half, probably. <laughs> and seven uh, is rotating, top. though. That should be a kill to Bark as well. Great rotation. Potter looking to get active early on. Remember the cog. Okay, he still kill. lives. Yeah, st they still get him, but. You gotta be careful with the Tide Hunter because of the Kraken Shell, right? Like, you can Kraken Shell most things off. You gotta be careful Radiant's not to lose the kill because of that. Attack. Nicely done, by the way. I... Mm -hmm. So they could look for a kill if Pondo got the Radiant's stun where 70 was nearby. I want the stacks, though. This is nice. They will respond, though, on AR. Nice, Cox. Once again, he will die, but making them work for it. They stole a couple, right? Like, they got some creeps. Yep. It's still pretty damn good for Coddle. Still has his own stacks to chew through if he wanted to. So, I'm gonna get uh, the vessel next. What's going on with, uh, uh, with the Wisdom Runes? It looks like Lion will pick up the Dire one and FY, the Radiant one. Nothing... Uh, no shenanigans. So, I mean, yeah, you're able to take that hard stack, but damn, there's some gigantic ancients for Radiant. Mm -hmm. And none for Dire, so... Let's see. I mean, you'd love to give it to the Tidehunter, you'd love to give it to the Sven. I think, importantly, though, we've seen almost every Leshrac game, it has been Ori that's been taking the ancient stack with the smoke, right? Like, that's what they do. They Radiant's smoke him up, they move. You call that out Did previously as well. So make an attempt onto the Leshrac, and this is the burst potential you were mentioning. Ooh, ooh, and he's going to take out to the urn. This EQ doesn't care if he dies. In fact, I mean, if he gets a Cogs, there might be another kill for 70. E. FY. Wow. All right. Yep. Very, very nicely done by 70. E. Like, this Coddle. It was a nice... I'm, I'm pretty sure... Oh, not done yeah. just yet. On low. Arrow. We have a set up for the blast onto low. You've got ZZQ once again coming around. <laughs> and this game, they are playing very well with the Coddle. I mean, you will have the TP in from Ori. Even FY is actually going to rotate. Where did Beyond come from? Why are we going to clunk you here? Why not? It's a party eight minutes in and Team Zero. They will enjoy this. But there's a Weaver. 
everyone is here. Like, they, yeah, they don't give a damn, man. Like, they just want to crush this mid lane ledge. And don't even allow him to leave the lane to go for those stacks. There's a smoke on FI. That's, the, that's what this smoke is meant for. But at this point, like, you dealt so much damage that you might even smoke up on ZZQ and Quarrel. Like, he's got his vessel up. Look, if we know what Leshrac does every game with the smoke, right? Like, if, if we know, look at this illusion from 70. He's going in to scout it. I'm, I'm sure he knows as well. I'm sure he should be prepared for this. ZZQ almost level 6 on the clockwork. Ooh, if they contest this, it looks like they're going for the Tide Hunter instead. And if they contest those stacks. The Tide is a huge kill, though. He is. And with the best on the best from Kotto, it will be easy. I am very impressed how they're playing around 7 this game. They're going. They're going for the stacks. They're in. You might... Oh, I was going to say, you might have to TP the Sven, but he's... I no god strength can... and no TP. I, I, like, these stacks are actually dangerous for Dire. I don't think they can have them. It's... How is... I, 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 it's I just bay. don't know. It's... It's it's just so risky. If you get them, it's amazing, but... A bot with a Ravage, maybe? Yeah, I was gonna right. fly, but it will slip past the two. That's exactly. yeah, or he might just take the stack now. Yeah, okay. They helped him. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they literally they just helped him. That's it. That's all they did. Top tower is under attack. Yeah. They knew the stacks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they needed to go as he was farming them. And then it maybe works if you kill him and then you take the stacks. But trying to take them on their own, that's not going to work. They don't have a hero that does it. No, not in a form of Flash or Tide Hunter. They just don't care about the ancients. And they're going to keep going, though. Another smoke. Hot on clock. Top lane. Combine together. Top lane. Top lane, though. Arrows there. Do they need the Ravage? They do not. All right. Can they take the team fight afterwards, though? Ravage still up from Bark. Dizzy Q's going to be able to get the hook shot into middle. And just importantly, 70 is freely spell casting. They have Ravage still, remember? Still available. Oh. 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 <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you miss all your spells, it happens. Especially on Mirana. Uh, yeah, ZZQ is still around. With Tranquils, he's gonna heal up. Doesn't even have to go away from here. Nice setup, by the way, still, for uh, the kill on Weaver. Nice setup by FY, gets a big kill. They aren't getting any objectives, so they smoke up. Is when Beyond gets blade mail though, so the kill will be a little bit trickier. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Actually gonna make their own smoke play as well, so might run into the two on the high ground. A lot. If I and Ponlo, the Hex brothers together. Full shackles, bro. Yeah, I'm still waiting for Ah to actually have some Real ravage. He sees beyond. There we go. Oh, he's gonna ravage him. All right. Blade Mouse gonna be activated now. Pollen might be able to blow up Ori. Sven's even gonna try and enter the team fight as well at the back of the God Strength. We'll cut down the line. Daisy Q now stuck in the cogs as well, but Seventy wants to clean up. Why is on nearby? He doesn't really have a whole lot of damage to add to the fight. It's very low. That's yeah. Just, yeah. Even with the ulti, he doesn't go back in time far enough to be full HP so one big difference in this fight was of course no coddle like he had travels but he wasn't really there on time uh, way too late to rotate they do get Ori and the Ravage is used so if you're team zero it's not like you're too sad about what went on only if you're beyond maybe but everyone else is yeah that's why they play probably yeah, they're going pretty deep for the lion. There's no guts Is this worth it? Apollo oh, doesn't care. He's invading. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> like, yeah. Apollo's Hookshot is up. right now. Hookshot. <laughs> and he'll land. Unanxious. Tunnel vision onto a lion and <laughs> to cause die. Some of these moves from Azure are 
questionable at best. They do pop the wards and they do take the tower. Uh, I, I'm not sure why they expected no response because there is there are travels on Caudal, right? So he's going to be in every single fight and then everyone else can join in. Mid lane FY, both combo. How the kill by the looks of it. Oh, nice hour onto the Caudal actually. Or he gets clipped. No, actually, even he doesn't get clipped by uh, Illuminate, so. Is there a shot? No, in 14 seconds. But they're just dominating this map, it's crazy. And good luck if you're Sven finding any farm. You want your ancients open, but you can't have them. You're not letting them get close. Shot available. Why? Bot. And killed. This is really one of the first few games we've actually seen Team Zero play from ahead off the laning phase. Yeah, like uh, all on the back of the skull, I would say. Like he's just playing way too well. It's also not only, uh, it, it's also his matchup. Like Lesh just doesn't feel comfortable doing anything. He's buying Eternal Shroud now. He's got Yules as well. It, it does make things a bit different. Like he can go in a fight and then maybe Yules himself as Illuminate is flying in. But he's got more problems. He's not tanking up. Pondo even with the finger is blowing him. Uh, blowing the Disco Pony up. So... Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. They, they did not look this good with the combo early today. <laughs> I, I'm very, very impressed with how they're playing around him, though. It's just a good game for him. Maybe the game you watched wasn't as good of a Coral game, but this one certainly is. Uh, I, I, I have one issue for them. It's like this physical damage uh, from them will be... The only physical damage you're really getting is from the Weaver, and it will be mitigated quite a lot by Warcry and maybe the Aghanim's Shard on Sven eventually. And uh, we'll see how much he will be able to do. So once the BKBs so are up on Azure, yeah. yeah. That's what we're looking at. I was just going to ask that if the, the BKBs is going to be that thing. What your bark has got no mana. <laughs> yeah, it's being a yeah. bit annoying. Pondo has a shard already, so he's just using that. They're running it low, though. I saw. Giving them a lot of information for them to actually work with, and there's a shot. Unfortunately, it's going to get tanked by the Mirana. Did he not see the Mirana, or did he just want to go on Mirana? I wonder. I feel like the goal should have been the Sven, but maybe just the body block, yeah, like you said. Ori? Is he stepped too far forward? It's okay, 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 okay. Uh, wh wh what happened? Why didn't they go? They were afraid of Ravage, I guess. And uh, they should be. He has a blink now. See who they can catch. They need a high ground ward. FY's got blink too. Not a bad timing. 7,000 deficit. We could see this team fight bouncing back into the game, but they need a pretty big ultimate from Bark. That ZCQ board, is not enough. It's not enough. I mean, of course, they're happy with it and maybe leading to the T1 tower. It is something. You're going to need to play pretty passively afterwards, and they may not actually get the tower. Let's see if there's a response. Now, Loke can die. Four seconds for Blink on Tide. Um, okay, he's got it now. Back again, so... They, they'll still go back. Weaver is one of the better heroes to deal with the wards, and... Okay, he just denies, farms a bit. Going Glide near, by the way, so more control coming from him. Buffs him up a bit. Don't mind this build. Not the most right click uh, heavy, but still pretty good. Low needs to be careful. He has only Mirana around him. Nice deal with there uh, from Tian Ming. That was the ward that we were trying to set up on. I mean, they've got their own ward that scouted them out, I think, moving to top. ZQ on a hunt. Mirana just too hard. You need Lion as well. Bondo. I like the shard. I, it, it, it's nice to have versus Tide. Like, he jumps in, you use your mana drain, you don't get impaled by Ravage. 
Savage, and then you can play off of that. It, it, it's a nice counterplay, kinda, to Tidehunter, but overall, it, a Blink Dagger this game would have done a lot for them by, by this time, I feel. Okay. They're struggling a bit, like Clockwork can't find targets, but he has no follow-up to, let's say, control a, a Mirana, so can't really go in. Exactly. Yeah, we saw it was okay through a lot of the earlier rotations, but maybe it's just because the position they were playing across the map. Now with the towers going down, you have to go a bit deeper. And it's not as easy for the clock. YSR is by himself. We'll see Ori starting to move over. See if they're going to be able to catch him. Time lapse back. Okay, baited nerds. See ya. <laughs> And there is a tight hunter around, but he he has a shard as well. He just blinked in the wrong direction. He could have waited there. If he just went Radiant north, he'd, he'd get the beaver. They are moving now. They're the ones smoked. There's Agonims, of course, on Kunka. It's a huge difference. Agon is, by the way, on Keeper of the Light next item. And he's not far away from it. Like, no Dagon, nothing like that. Like, Dagon Z Blades, Nana Knight. This guy wants eggs. Oh, oh wow. Dude, <laughs> just imagine this hell. Torrent Storm and Agonim's Disco Ball on top of it. <laughs> Willow Wisp. Just imagine the hell you're in. Like, it's literally the Dota equivalent of hell. I am very impressed with AR's ability to store this game out. I thought they needed a little bit more with that pick off mid lane, but it seemed like just the one kill was enough and, and happy with getting an objective. And we see just how the pace has slowed down since then. Five, it dropped the 5k net worth lead, and I think it was up to maybe 8k at its peak. So you, you're getting to these BKBs, and Low has his, and this was like the all important thing you were mentioning about AR's, AR's lineup. Like, you need these BKBs, they are vital for them in team fights. Yeah, let's see what they can do. You have everything that you kinda need. The Blink Ravage, the Shard Dead in the Water on, on Tidehunter is also super strong versus both Kotl and Weaver. But the most valuable player right now is Bach. And, um, <clears throat> like you said, BKB on Sven. Let's see. Here they come. All eyes on Bach. What can he do with the Ravage? It's good! It's on to four. They need more damage. Low. It's going to be able to enter with the BKP, but all he is is targeting down the line on the right side. Though. FY. He got the Coddle. That is a lot of the main damage source for Team Zero at this stage of the game, but no one is locked onto the Coddle. Just multiple fights breaking out simultaneously. As soon as the BKP expired on Low, he wasn't able to gap close and get the big right clicks out that were required to take the fight. Now, maybe F5 will go for the Hail Mary play, but somehow they sniffed him out. I thought they, they, don't, the they, don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't. They didn't see him, they didn't see him. F5, uh, the cogs are there as well. He needs to put a slot in. Yeah, he's, he's gonna be too late. Maybe he's just tied. Yeah, he's gonna TP base. By the way, the main reason why Coral survived, which is pretty damn sad, are the wards. And the one of the the biggest issues they had in that fight were the Serpent Wars. I'm not talking about normal wars. Like, they blocked Sven on the south part of the map, like, next to the uh. an Ancient, uh, in, next to the Roshan, so he couldn't join the fight. He needed to circle back all around walk. He doesn't have a blink, so he needed to just walk waste all that time. Plus, it didn't really do a lot, right? Like, the Ravage, it caught four heroes, but... It he only got the lion off of that. Oh my God. Radiant structures <laughs> are fortified. He's fine. Yeah, but yeah, shot. I think that was a, that was a greater is... lotus that he had to eat or something. Yeah, it's such a sad shard here and to, to get it on Mirana. Like, feels bad. Radiant's what do you mean, dude? Great one. Well. 170 damage on leap. No, I'm joking. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> you... Radiant's yeah. bottom yeah. tower has fallen. It's great. <laughs> That's right, FY Midas is almost there. Top lane, they're actually coming through the portal. Ooh, Ooh run. Run, run. Yeah. Back to the stall game. 
Back to the stall game indeed, but I don't know if you have to do it if you're uh, busy. They have eggs now on Carl. Ori is caught. He's got to pay you uh, Sorry, let's see. Ravage is ready. Is Bark gonna find an opening though? Like, it. like your Lash didn't have enough mana to fight anyways, so... Even if you Ravage, even if you counterplay and save him, you're probably losing that fight. And plus, you're playing into Weaver with an Aegis. Really difficult to kill to, to make it twice. Is he gonna... Okay, so Lu is actually buying Blink. No Aghanims this game, just pure old Blink. Mask of Madness, Echo Saber, Blink. Radiance Maybe it feels like the Scepter might be too slow. I think so as well. I think that's probably the main reason. Because it's not that bad, like, you can follow uh, Cockle through, you can follow Weaver through. But oh, Lowe's gonna go back. Like he, can, he can't pick a BTB actually, because he's EQ. Someone needs to block the hook shot. Oh, he's gonna go for it, but there'll be an angle. Oh, and they're still sticking around. They're actually gonna try to take a fight. Oh, I'm gonna do a huge ravage. They need more out of it though, and they're not gonna be able to find it. Low once again. Can't fight without the BKB. Somehow he slips past the Conker's grasp, but only for a second. X was still there from afar. We'll have at least oh, one TP Pongo. up, but Ponlo also catches Bark over to the right side. And they will. Everyone else is gonna funnel on over very shortly, reaping the rewards of a great team fight from them. Stop. What? What? No. No. Dude, this is. What? Ridiculous. <laughs> I can't believe that. How did he leave? That, that Juke, actually, yeah, that Juke, I can't believe it. What? Yeah. <laughs> no way! There's no way! <laughs> Alright. What? Uh, what dishes out uh, AoE damage on Team Zero without using it? Do they have anything that, that deals AoE damage without being clicked? Like, they don't have any... Uh, Neutrals that do that, nothing like that, right? What do you what what, what do you mean? Like conquer, coddle? What do you mean? I'm yeah. so confused. What's his question? Oh, wait just a sec. When Buck was hiding, he had blink yeah. off cooldown. When Cottle passed him, his blink got uh damaged a coddle? By a coddle? Yeah, um... when seventy passed him. And I'm thinking like is there something I'm forgetting? Vestal used to have it, remember? Like, <laughs> one patch? It, am I crazy? Did it? An AoE? Yeah, yeah, it, or I'm just insane. I, I feel like Vestal had an AoE uh, one, one single patch or something. Whatever. It didn't have charges, remember? Uh, I, I, might, I might be just going insane uh, at this I think amount might, of games. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Aegis is out, Ravage up in 15. Got strength is up as well if they want to try and take a fight. They are splitting, so FY did use the Serpent Voice down bot. Do you ever have dreams of games, by the way? Like you dream a full game of Dota or something? Or is that too much? I had that, like, too many times. Right, FY will escape. <laughs> Just out of fire, never mind. Well, that fight lives with Tiamming, does it? Yeah, but that's jump. That's jump for 70, that's a big loss. I do, like, I don't. I haven't really dreamed a full game, but I will have stages where if I'm. And I had this in school as well. In school, if I was playing a bunch of Tetris. I would like, as I was trying to sleep, I would see like blocks falling mm -hmm. uh, in, in like my mind's eye or uh, also if I've been playing a lot of chess as well. If I'm spamming like chess, You'd see the board, I like, yeah. I can kind of, yeah, I can see the board while I'm falling asleep. Uh, oh my God, look at this. this is... uh, what's, what, what's the name of the Netflix series? You're that girl, Beth Harmon. Hair, but yeah, no, but yeah, it's, you're... no, but it's, 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 uh... I am casting with Beth Harmon here. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I know, I know what you mean. Smoke up though from AR. There's no ages, you mentioned it. They could pull up this weaver though. Oh, BKB. oh and he's actually just gonna instantly gonna pop the BKB. And now the Sven. Hookshot as well as in Lowe's BKB is getting completely wasted. This is not the ideal fight they were hoping for. And meanwhile over to the right side, is it? Ori and Barky getting controlled as well. All or nothing for Lowe, but the torrent's gonna connect. Torrent Storm creates too much chaos. And a disaster of an initiation. No buyback, and even if Sven had it, what would he be able to do? Yeah, that, that's the huge difference that they have in this game. Sven, if he wastes his BKB, like, fighting afterwards is so difficult. Weaver, he pops the BKB, goes into the fight, like, loses the BKB before anything is done, really, and still can easily, easily just continue fighting. There's so much AOE control. Ravage on the other side is just not enough. They do have Glyph, they can delay this a bit. Mirana and Shadow Shaman are back up. Maybe some arrows. And fire? Exit oh. arrow, not bad. I need the Ravage. It's gonna come too far, too late. I mean, they're able to get YSR down to the low ground, and again, it's just... It's not clean for me, I like we've been seeing. Lowe might die though. Drop the Sven is... back alive, or he's gonna try and charge in the middle. But Sven has to be so cautious how he takes the team fight down BKB. He's waiting for an angle to jump in, of course, has the blink ready to go. But now with the control coming on shortly from the Torrent Storm, Lesh is gonna get clipped by it once. Why is such just really right clicking? Yours is there, is it gonna matter in the end? They're stuck inside the circle, Sven's in. not paying up for himself, but Lowe. Tries to find the jump in, stun's gonna come out, it's not enough damage! Bjorn will live on a slither of health, now they're trying to catch up to YSR again! No team fight! It's just working for them! Everything is off by one spell, it's never perfectly in sync. Uh, it's never perfectly in sync and it's way more difficult for them to take these fights like Sven pops the BKB, jumps in, but he needs some follow-up, and this is a pretty poor Sven. This isn't your, uh, I'm gonna jump in and break you, Sven, with some Daedalus and whatnot, like two hits and you're dead. No, this is a Sven, this is a humble Sven with a Blink BKB and Echo Saber. He jumps in, hits you, and asks you, can I please continue hitting you? Can you please be so kind to not run away? Of course, they all have so much mobility, they just move out, Unka. Gets away with uh, Ogre Seal Totem and they just can't follow. This Will o Wisp was. I know it's not the most favorite item for most Keeper of the Lights, but it's been doing wonders this game. Am I crazy to feel like I still think that AR with like actually decent Ravage and Sven jumping can win fights? Yeah. Do you see that too or no? Ah, uh, you're crazy. Yeah? You don't, you actually you don't feel that way? Not with these items. They need more. They need a crit at least in Sven. I feel like with the crit, yeah. it, it, it can happen. They, they still dish out a ton of damage like with Ori with Sven for sure. I do think that they, this Kotl needs to go now. Like, you're not killing the Weaver anymore. That uh, You might, but it, he's hard, much harder. He's getting surrounded very shortly. It's easy Q with a great angle if required. And he's gonna pop the BK. He actually wants to fight? I mean, he gets a kill, but is he going to be able to get out as well? Somehow got to blink. And it looks like FI will be called though nonetheless. So YSR was able to get the Ages and join in. Yeah, he's got Daedalus. He's got Daedalus on Weaver, dishing out a lot of damage. By the way, from low, that was literally the only play possible. He needed to pop ulti, BKB and hit. The only way he stays alive, because he needed to kill Pock, right? Like, he can't TP away from Hookshot. So he kills the clockwork and that's why he lives. Like, I, I love the mind clarity in a stressful situation. Really nicely done by him. Still though, this game, for, in my eyes, isn't changing a lot. Daedalus Lincoln's next on the Weaver. Surprised there's no Hex on Clockwork yet. Like, he's going for Octarine instead. Lois? Pretty close to Daedalus, and I think you are in a game where you buy out on the Sven. 
I do not think buyback is important, especially if you use BKB God Strength. He will die here, though. No oh, BKB unless he just heals the creeps and blinks, but no. Fondler's going to make sure that is not a possibility. And they are instantly smoking to top, though, to take the team fight, but they're already out on Dire. So, great read from them. You're going to get the quick and easy kill onto low, and they will make sure there is not even a, an opportunity for a 4v2 up top off the back of this smoke. Yeah, the scan is there, but... Oh, YSR. You're going in for the creep? Just, yeah, just the creep. Right? Nice retreat from them, from the top lane, of course, on the Weaver and the Kunkka. There is no Sven. He does have a buyback that you so wished that he didn't have at this point. But no, I get it. I get it. Uh, unfortunate uh, catch on the Sven. For him, that is. This is Raxus. They don't have a glyph. 13 seconds, no glyph. They do have glyph for bottom or top if uh, he's in goals. more. Or, there's a lot of danger, man. Look at just the boat from them. Ravage gonna come through from Bark. They're still trying to hold the buyback out of the Sven. But there's just no damage without him. So FY is gonna die and the Cox as well from ZZQ. Holds the tight onto into place. Pomo prevents him from getting further back to base. Team Zero. Interesting fight. Like you pop the Ravage, but you don't buy back the Sven. I mean, I, I get it. Like, but he didn't buy back. They don't lose the side, but now that he's up and they smoked up, has the script to work with, but there's no Ravage, no control. And they wrap up. Look look at the pings. Like, they know. Nice scan. Like, yeah, they just know. ZQ. Hex is there. Long range Hex. Oh my god. Okay, Eye of the Vizier. Are delaying it. Oh, push a fist. The Ignis just gonna clip on the outskirts. Alright, Lou. What have you got in store for us? And it's it's just too late. Maybe two uh, letters. You've lost Ori. And Box just gonna get critted down as well. Huge right clicks out from YSR. He's stuck in the trees. Do they see him? They do now with the flare. Oh, we just got the base. <laughs> Alright, what's Low pop BKB. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna crash. That's realistically what had to happen there. They couldn't find a single fight this game. Good job to Team Zero. Like this is this is the Team Zero that I like to see. Very aggressive from the get-go. Get these kind of heroes that can roll, can fight early on. I think the Kotal into Lash was the perfect response. Um, extremely well played by them. Like, no worries really. Uh, <clears throat> Bunka as well did 